Hey guys, this is Chris again coming out to you with another video. Today's video review is the Time XQ that I was telling you guys about that I had unboxed just last week. I'm going to do a review on that. Quick wristwatch check. I don't know if you can see that or not. I am wearing that G-Shock. I figure I wear quartz or, you know, something similar. While I was reviewing that, something kind of cool. Now the 70s were was the time of, of course, belt, as you know, bell bottoms and the disco era you know a lot of like, pretty pretty funky time and also star skin huts stuff like that just to get you an idea of what was going on in the 70s but um this this watch that i'm talking about today is a 1970s true to re reissue it's true to its form timex did a really good job at doing the reissue on this and i will leave a link down below in the um the description section to ID guys video on this because he went over the history of the time XQ and what you know why it was like that you know the courts crisis and all that they, most most of the industry was going towards courts and this was kind of a symbol of the way the watch industry was going at the time and it's still kind of a pretty funky kind of cool kind of design like I believe 1979 was the era that it was from or the year that it, it came out, and that, that's what it was saying on the Time Xbox. But like I said, I'll leave a link down to ID guy. He he describes it more eloquently. If you haven't already caught that video, than than I ever could on the history of the watch and everything like that. So, like I said, I'll leave a link down there. If you haven't already gone over to his channel, go over to his channel, and subscribe. He does really great videos from an industry, of course, perspective. But like I said, he does such a good job editing his videos and going behind the history you can tell he does his research but anyways guys we'll go to the desktop and do a review of the time xq is the watch in question like i said this is a pretty killer piece 38 millimeters so it fits most wrist this bracelet is a true to the time error bracelet which is kind of a love it or hate it bracelet you can see it's time x's stamp right there but like I said, this is a love it or hate it bracelet, which I kind of really, really like. Of course, they are look. This is a lugless watch, which that's the only one of the only negatives I have on the watch is it is lugless, so you can't really change out the bracelet. You know, you can't really change out to a NATO or anything like that. This thing does wear really, really light, and you can see there the back of the bracelet. Like I said, it 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 is 18 millimeters, it does taper down, and you can see there that classic technology from the 70s makes the battery pretty easy to get into and change in and out you pretty much should just be able to put it you know like a penny or something like that in there and get that out and change the battery yourself and you can see the crown is here at the three o'clock day date right here pretty clean dial it's like a blue kind of vintage kind of dial and it's got that dome crystal and there you can see in between the bezel and all that you see that blue kind of chapter ring almost kind of kind of matches the dial here and the indices on here are really clean really clean dial overall it's got Timex and then quartz nothing too fancy which is Timex is really known for that like I said this is this watch real wears really light and I can understand where the height comes from but I would not pay over retail on this I've seen some people were paying like $400 $500 Unless you've got the money to blow, just be patient like I was. I was patient. Don't don't fall into that fear of missing out on these watches. Be patient. I saw that Mark from Long Island had this on uh, sale. He posted on his Instagram, and even though I didn't really need another watch, I saw this. I figured I better put it, you know, pounce on it before uh, before they sold out, and they sold out pretty quick after I bought one too. And uh, as you know, here's that bidirectional bezel, which is pretty cool. The only other watch I have that does that is the Zen 104, of course, as you know. has that bi-directional bezel. Bezel action is not too bad on here. A little tight, but not too bad. Like I said, it's got real clean indices. It's got the Pepsi bezel, which is really cool. Of course, you know, it looks looks to mimic the, the Pepsi Rolex that was in all the movies and all that. Like I said, ID guy mentions that in his video, but it mentions, you know, it mimics that kind of Pepsi GMT that was in all the movies and all that at the time. Of course you can see the red second hand kind of goes into the dowel overall pretty clean look let me take off my g-shock show you what it looks like on my 7.5 inch wrist the bracelet isn't too bad 
like I said, it's just got that little clasp there. Pretty easy to adjust. But overall, I would definitely recommend this. Like I said, if you can get a hold of it, this is what it looks like on my seven half inch wrist. If you can get a hold of it at the retail price, just be patient. Don't worry about you know missing out on it. Just like I said, just be patient like I was, and you'll eventually be able to get one. I definitely give this the eight out of ten, nine out of ten, close to that. On the uniqueness factor, like I said, this is a, a true to issue reissue of the Timex watch that was in 1979, which is really cool that Timex is kind of doing you know that vintage kind of vibe. It shows that quartz can be fun too. They can be kind of quirky pieces like this. But anyways, guys, it, it does only have a 50 meter water resistance, but that's enough. I mean, you know, not really going to take this thing swimming or anything like that. But overall, like I said, definitely a cool watch. Definitely like it. The only thing I would change is the lugless design. Maybe be able to, you know, swap out a NATO or a leather brand if you want to dress it up or something like that. But other than that, pretty killer watch. Maybe a little more water resistance. But it's a quartz, so I mean, you can't really expect heaven and earth. But like I said, overall, I'm really pleased with this watch. And this watch will definitely get a lot of wear for a long while. Anyways, guys, this has been Chris with the Time XQ reissue review. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you haven't already, comment. Let me know. All right, peace.